In May 1974, the British and Irish Lions were to embark on a tour that would make them living rugby legends. With a formidable pack and a brilliant back line, they were to play the game of rugby as it had never been played before. We have achieved something no other Lions team has ever done. Inside beautifully to Phil Bennett, look at that acceleration. It is the beginning of an adventure. Enormously physical, it was savage, it was brutal. And again, these unpleasant scenes breaking out. When you start hating your opposition, it's, it's more than just sport, isn't it? Five yards short to Slattery, Slattery could score! In the cauldron of apartheid South Africa, in the glare of international publicity, they set out to prove themselves the greatest Lions team in history. Is there ever a more dramatic finish to a game than that? It's like theatre. Rugby at its best is as good as it gets. He's going to score under the post. JJ Williams. We scored more tries, uh, more points, more everything than any previous Lions tours. Now, you don't do that if you're a sort of dirty team, ill-disciplined team. You don't do that. Because the game of rugby football, to play it well, you've got to be disciplined. And I think we played it well. Into the Eastern Province 25, Edwards, Bennett, just stood still and let the opposition come past him, switches direction. Andy Irvin in the line, fed out to Roy Bergers, Billy Steele, cutting inside, it must be a try. Tommy David loves to run straight up the field. The Lions looking now for second phase and getting it well. John Maloney, there's a gap and a half. Maloney, this is a good chance for the Lions. Maloney going all the way on his own. Fergus Slattery with the field open before him, just the fullback to beat, and he's going to beat him as well. Well, that's a great run by Fergus Slattery. The Lions with a heel against the head. Mervyn Davies to Edwards. Edwards going for the corner. Slips it inside, it must be the try. The try is given to JJ Williams. Is there ever a more dramatic finish to a game than that? After the second test, which is a huge event, we're two 0 up in the series. We can't be caught here. Yeah? We can draw it at the at the at the very worst. So we go off to Kruger Park for five days rest. Well, it wasn't a rest. It was five days getting absolutely smashed. We stayed in these rendezvous and there were some great uh, parties every night. Billy Steele started drinking with JPR on that trip to Crooker Park. And JPR could handle his beer, if I could say that thing by him. Unfortunately, Billy took it a bit too literally because he didn't play in the second two tests. <laughs> so you can imagine what sort of state we actually got him into. JPR was to blame. <laughs> That's bloody true, actually. Out to JJ Williams. Williams showing a a good turn of speed, flicks it back inside to JPR, five yards short to JJ Williams again, he's going to score under the post, the Lions leap in the air, JPR Williams to JJ Williams, the cut back inside. We had a great understanding of each other and he's a great player to play with anyway, he's always pass the ball and support you, so when I threw the ball back in I knew he'd be there, when he threw the ball back in he knew I would be there. And surely the Lions are now almost beyond recall. The Lions attacking again, Williams to Irvin. Irvin cutting back inside, Williams, 20 yards out, still Williams going, the strength of the man. You mustn't take away this JPR Williams at a fullback. He was, he, he was just one of those def devastating players that never seemed to get hurt. JPR Williams, 
strength and a sidestep to go with it. You're going to have to go a long way to find a rugby player as versatile, as strong and as canny. JPR Williams underneath caught that majestically. But it's the ball they want. And it breaks out again. Max Bays tries to calm it down. It was a very hard fought game. I had an incident where the spring was kicked on JPR Williams. Then Willie John came up to me and he said to me, if these, I won't use the word, don't stop, they're nonsense. He said to me, Max, you'll have a ride on your hands. Calm by Krobler, fed on by Ellis. That's Slaybush to Pope. Pope handing off and going for the corner, but he's got to get through John Williams. The feed inside, picked up by Krobler. And the try is awarded. The first try South Africa have scored in this test series. The crowd go wild. The Springboks draw level. All square in the dying moments of this final test of the 1974 tour. Can the Lions stay unbeaten? We'd been in that situation on at least two, if not three occasions where clock was running down and we had to score to win. So we were in a similar situation in that fourth test and, and we knew we had to score. And I think we knew we would score. Can they just conjure one out of the bag like they did against the Orange Free State? And the ball broke and went across the line through Gareth and to Benny and Benny to, I think, to Ian McGeekin who popped it to JPR Williams. To McGeekin, to Millican, JPR Williams in the line. I remember making quite a good break, I think, and, uh, and passing on to Fergus Slattery. Williams cutting his way through. Five yards short to Slattery. Slattery could score. JPR Williams ran quite close to the line and he turned. And I thought it was definitely going to be a try. And I actually had to slow down to take the ball. And in doing that, it gave uh, Peter Cronje maybe the opportunity to stop me. I thought, well, going low, he's going to fall over the line anyway. So I thought the only way was to, was to tackle him high and sort of pull him down on top of me, which I duly did. So we both went to, on, onto the deck over the line. And, uh, and the rest is history.